guys, Joel here, back with another one, and sorry for the long wait, but I'm excited to bring you some new content once again, and I wanted to start a new series of some of my favorite accessories I've been using, and I'm always going through a variety of accessories for my devices that I use daily, so I wanted a way to showcase some of my favorites I've been using, so in this video, it's going to be my favorite accessories of the month for the iPhone 15. Now, I'm actually using a iPhone 15 Pro Max in this video, and in some clips you'll see a 15 Pro, but majority of these accessories do come or work with the iPhone 15 or 15 Plus, as well as the 15 Pro and Pro Max. And of course, I'll be listing these in the description below if you are interested. But if you're a longtime iPhone user and just picked up an iPhone 15, you may have been upset about the transition from the Lightning port now to a USB-C port. So that means you need to get new cables. I've actually been using this new cable uh, that is a cable that has a LED screen. Picked it up on Amazon, it's pretty cheap. And I just thought it was cool because it tells you the wattage of how much power you're getting to your device. So you'll see the charging status and this cable supports up to 100 watts. So you could use it for charging your MacBook Pro if you have one. Uh, and it's also braided, so it has that durability. The only thing is that it is pretty wide, so depending on the case you use, if you're gonna be using it on your iPhone, be sure you have a pretty large cutout on the case. Uh, that way you can still use the case while you're charging it. But it's nice to see just the charging status and see how much wattage you're actually getting from your power adapters. Now the next accessory is from the company Magback, and they're awesome enough to sponsor this month's video and also send over some of their accessories, and I was pretty surprised. So I've known about Magback for a while, but I've never tested out their cases. So they sent me out this case, which is their latest for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now I've been enjoying this case, and I'll explain why here in a second, but this case is for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. They also have it available for all other iPhone 15s if you're interested, but it gives you that protection so when those accidents do happen, uh, you're protected. And it also supports MagSafe accessories, which is one of my favorite features because I use MagSafe quite a bit. But checking out the case, it's a very minimal design with a soft touch feel all around and protects all the buttons around the device. You have raised corners and a protective screen lip on the front to help protect the screen. And on the back, you also have a camera lip to protect the cameras. The buttons feel nice and clicky, including the new action button on the 15 Pro series. And it has a good size cutout at the bottom for the charging port. So you won't have many issues with those wider USB-C cables. Now, if you enjoy using MagSafe accessories though, like I do, this case by Magbag takes MagSafe support to another level. It'll attach to metal surfaces, so there are endless ideas of where you can throw this onto. If you are in the kitchen, for example, maybe you're cooking something up, you can throw it on the microwave and just sticks on there. So you can just have maybe a recipe or something, or maybe watching a video while you're cooking right up there at eye level. Or you can throw it on the fridge, at the gym, anywhere that there's a metal surface, you'll be good to go. But you can also use the mag sticks that come included with the case and attach this anywhere else that you may not have a metal surface and just have a flat surface. So for example, your car, you can attach it anywhere on your dashboard. And as you see here, I attached it to mine. I don't have much to attach it to, um, but I was able to attach it here and just gives you a variety of ways to use this case. Now you'll still get MagSafe support for the regular MagSafe accessories and a great companion accessory for the MagBag case is the MagBag wallet. I typically use Apple's wallet, but have found MagBag's wallet a little bit more useful because not only is it a wallet that you can add more cards than your typical three cards in the Apple MagSafe wallet and have another slot even for cash, which is nice. I have about three bills in there and it still stays pretty minimal. You can do up to about six cards and some cash, but I'm trying to keep mine as minimal as possible. So the four cards and some cash will do for now. But this MagBag wallet is super versatile because aside from just storing cards and cash, you get this loop so you can have more support when you're holding your device, especially if you have a bigger device like the Pro Max. So if you're viewing something, you just want something to hold it onto, just stick your finger in there and you can kind of size it to your finger if you have a little bit more chubbier fingers like I do. But uh, yeah, 
Plus, if you're watching something, you can make the Magback wallet act as a kickstand, which was pretty cool. Because of Magback's strong magnets in the case, you simply prop it up just like this, and you can view it in portrait mode. You can also turn it into landscape mode if you're watching a video, or you can have a different viewing angle by adjusting it and doing it this way. I thought this was pretty cool. So using the Magback wallet and the case is a W for me. Now, if you want to keep things minimal and have your device charging at your desk or on your nightstand, another awesome accessory from Magback is this multi-charger. It allows everything to be charged like your iPhone, your AirPods, and even your watch. So I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max here, alongside some AirPod Pros and the Apple Watch Ultra. So it's a three-in-one wireless charger that eliminates all those messy wires and just keeps things minimal. So it has this embedded USB-C cable and it comes with a 20 watt power adapter. And on the front, you have these three discrete LEDs that fade away when they're charging, but it gives you an indication that they are charging, which is nice. And like I said, this goes great on your desk, which is where I have mine set up at, or even on your nightstand. And it has that perfect angle, so if you do decide to do FaceTime calls, you can do that while it is charging, or you can use the standby feature and maybe use the clock for your nightstand. Now, if you like any of these accessories from our sponsor, Magback, they're awesome enough to provide a discount for y'all. So definitely go check them out as they not only make iPhone accessories, but they also make Android accessories and even Tesla accessories. So if you have a Tesla, definitely check them out and be sure to use code JBTech15 at checkout. So that way you get 15% off your entire purchase. But big shout out to Magback for being the sponsor in this month's top accessories for the iPhone 15. Now I'm continuing with some more accessories I've been using this month. It's going to be this guy here. It's a 10,000 milliamp MagSafe portable charger by Mophie. And it's called the Snap Plus Power Station Stand. And reason I like this is aside from it juicing up your devices when you need it and supporting MagSafe for easy wireless charging, it also has a built-in stand. So if you wanna continue using your device for a FaceTime call or scrolling through social media, you can still do that while it's charging. So on the back, you simply flip this out and then you'll be able to put your device in portrait mode or in landscape mode using the MagSafe on the back of your device. Now, one other awesome feature is for my photographers and videographers out there, because this also has a built-in tripod socket. So you can easily mount it to a tripod and you can keep using your device to take that shot while magnetized onto the power station stand. Now, speaking about taking that shot, the next accessory I've been using to take that shot in ProRes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max is the Samsung T9 SSD. With the iPhone 15 Pro series, having the capability to shoot ProRes, I've been using the T9 to either extend my shooting time or shoot at a higher FPS whenever shooting in ProRes. Now, if you have been using the iPhone 15 Pro, then something like this T9 SSD will be perfect to give you that capability to shoot ProRes if you are shooting at 4K or 1080p at 60 frames per second on your device, since it doesn't support ProRes without an external drive. Now the T9 is super lightweight and I've always been a fan of their T-Series SSDs as I've used them for several years for projects on my computer, but also I can now use it on my iPhone 15 Pro. Read and write speeds are great, especially if you're editing. You can edit right off of this at 4K. I haven't had issues. It's been pretty smooth, even using the T5, the T7, and now the T9. Now this next one is for my gamers out there, and I wouldn't say I'm a huge gamer when it comes to mobile, but I found this accessory that makes me actually wanna play more games on my device than I have before. This is the Backbone and it works great whether you are an Android user or an iPhone 15 user because it has USB-C. So you simply snap in your device and it's ready to go. It works great with Apple Arcade games if you are a fan of that, which I do every now and then, but majority of the time I would wanna use it for my Xbox or I should say Xbox Game Pass. If you know me, then you know that I love me some baseball and now that baseball season is back, MLB The Show is on Game Pass and I can play this on the go now on my iPhone. So whether it be a, maybe a baseball game or maybe Call of Duty now that it dropped Warzone on mobile, 
I can play that better on the Backbone controller or even play some WWE 2K24 on my device if I remotely play from my device to my Xbox. And yeah, it's just a nice way to experience gaming on your mobile device. Aside from just having the screen and tapping on the screen, you have these controllers and it feels nice. And then when I'm on the go, I just stick it in the backbone case here that's sold separately, unfortunately, but I think I got a pretty good deal for it. I think I paid like 15 or $20, but again, if you are interested in any of these accessories, definitely go down below because that is gonna wrap it up for this video on my top iPhone 15 accessory I've been using this month. If you do wanna see these type of videos every month, let me know by hitting that like button below and comment what accessories you like to use and maybe I'll check those out and feature it in the next round of accessory videos. If you wanna keep up to date with what is going on, give me a follow on social media as I post videos on there as well. I'll leave those linked down below. And if you feel like being awesome, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. So that way you won't miss my next video. Anyways, y'all, thanks a lot for watching and appreciate the long support for those of you who have been sticking around. Uh, but uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.